Yeah, okay. Mic is working. Hi friends, this is Laura, AKA Lulu Sketches. I am a feature visual development artist in the animation industry. Today I'll be doing a speed paint on my iPad on the Procreate app. My iPad is the 2017 12.9 inch with a first generation Apple Pencil. Today's video is sponsored by Max Packs, which you've probably heard of. Max Packs are Procreate brush sets created by artist Max Ulichny. These brush sets are amazing and beloved in the the digital art community. So a huge thank you to Max Packs for sponsoring this video. For today's video, I'll be using a brand new brush set by Max Packs called the Retro Max Pack, which was just released today. These are Max's favorite brushes that he's ever made, which is saying a lot. They're inspired by Mary Blair, Charlie Harper, and plein air painters like James Gurney and Nathan Fowkes. The collection is very organic and textural with a lot of variety, including pencils, inks, pastels, some new very realistic gouache brushes, sponges, and some fun heavy textural stuff. To get started, let me give you guys a tour of the entire brush set and how they work. Max also made smudge brushes for this brush set, so I'll show you guys those too. Don't let me forget, don't. We're gonna start with the gesture sketch. That feels like a real pencil. Oh, oh I love that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Here's gesture sketch flat. Oh, okay. Now this one's my new favorite. <laughs> I have a feeling every single one of these brushes is gonna be my favorite. Here is the viz dev sketch. Okay, love this one. This is like a smoother version of that last one I just tried. Gouache natural. That looks like real paint. Holy crap. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it actually builds like real paint. Gouache natural glaze. Ooh, the textures in these. Natural flat. I love a good flat brush. Natural flat glaze. That's gonna be like the glaze one except flat. Oh, that's nice. Gouache natural detail. Natural detail glaze. Gouache natural wash. This looks like actual paint. Oh, natural wash flat. I'm gonna like this one even more. I love those flat brushes. Oh, let's go. Look at that. I've never used digital brushes that work this realistically ever before. Natural thin, wash fine, fine glaze, fine flat, wash retro. Oh, look at that heavy textural. That's nice. Gouache Retro Flat. Gouache Retro Detail. Retro Rough. Retro Wash Detail. Whoa. Retro Wash. Holy crap, that looks like actual <laughs> Retro Scrub. Nice. Retro dry brush. I love a good dry brush. I love some texture. Gouache flow. Oh, that's so nice. Gouache flow flat. Gouache flow detail. Wow, these are so beautiful. Gouache flow rough detail. Gouache flow rough. Gouache flow old. Wash shader wash, photocopy sketch, nice, photocopy inker, photocopy bold, liner strong, I love the texture on that, stipple control, look at that, stipple natural, stipple spray, fine grain spray, oh, Pastel Natural, Pastel Cloudy, Pastel Cloudy Blend, Pastel Thick Blend, Pastel Fine Blend. Yes, I like that, I like that. Pastel Grainy, that is such a nice texture. Pastel Soft, it's soft, but it still has a really nice texture. Pastel Sketch. Look at that. 
pastel flat, pastel flat thick. Retro scrub. Oh, that one's, that's so nice. Okay, messy scrub. <laughs> These are so fun to use too. Messy scrub wet. Look at how they blend. Grungy sketch. Look at that. Blocky bold. This brush is so versatile. I love how you can get like a texture with it lightly, or you can do like an actual very blocky. Oh my gosh. That feeling when you find your new favorite brushes. Okay, um, sponge natural. Sponge fine. Sponge thick. Oh my God, I love this one so much though. This would be so nice for foliage. And here's the last brush. This is called Sponge Heavy. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, I promised that I would show the smudge brushes and I did not forget. Thank you for reminding me. I appreciate it. Wash. Let's do some Odis. Yes, yeah, like that. Look how well they blend together. Now I'm selecting my smudge brush and I'm going to his retro smudge pack. Okay, this is the smudge blending stump. Okay, I've never really used this smudge tool before, but this is really useful. Smudge gouache natural. Oh, that's nice. Next is the smudge gouache fine. Look at that. Smudge gouache flow. Oh, that's nice. Smudge gouache retro. Ooh, a very textural smudge. Smudge retro dry brush. Some heavy texture. Fine grain spray. Smudge Pastel Natural. Smudge Pastel Soft. Smudge Pastel Thick. That's a nice texture to it too. Smudge Messy Scrub. <laughs> and the last smudge brush is the Smudge Grungy Sketch. Oh. As you can see, this brush set is stunning. You can get this brush set and all of Max's other amazing brush sets over at maxpacks.com. I will link that down below. Let's get started on this speed paint. These brushes would be great to actually bring my iPad outside and do some plein air painting, but it is 115 degrees today in Los Angeles. And if I paint it outside, I might literally catch on fire. So instead, I took some photo references yesterday during late afternoon, and I'll just reference my laptop instead of actually going outside into the Los Angeles hellscape.
And we're done. Thank you guys for watching. Here is the finished painting. I will post this over on my Instagram, Lulu Sketches. That's where I post all of my artwork. I loved using the Retro Max Pack. These brushes are very different than the brushes I usually use. Usually the brushes I use look very digital. Max's brushes felt more natural, like I was actually painting traditionally. So that was a really fun experience for me. I really loved using them and I'll definitely use them again. Thank you so much to my friend Max for having Max Pack sponsor this video. I'm a huge fan of Max's art as well as the brushes he creates. And again, you can get the retro Max Pack and all of Max's other amazing brushes over at maxpacks.com and I will link that down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye!